Welcome back to another episode of our FM22 Unknown to Icon series. We have started at the bottom of the English divisions and we'll try to get to the promised land of the Premier League. If you enjoy football management content and want to see more videos like this one, then hit that subscribe button. We are good to go. We are good to go. We are good to go. I'm losing my mind, people. I am losing my mind. Episode six. Are we episode six? Episode six. I think we're episode six. Have I lost the care for Football Manager 22? A little. I want Football Manager 23, like everyone to come out. Come on. This was a tester run for me in creating. I've got loads planned for Football Manager 23. I've already finished the second season for this series and that's going to be it. So I'm going to do this video and I'm going to do one more video to end finish the season. And this video takes us up till 10 games left of the season because there's a lot to go through. In the last video, if you didn't see it, go check it out in the above link. Or if you did see it, wow, what a start. Halfway through the season, top of the league, unbeaten. Is it still the case that we're top? Well, let's go find out. So first thing we're going to do is take you through some games. Okay, so first versus second, we're playing Maidstone. We're unbeaten. Can we continue this on? I would be happy with a draw. Let's go see what happens. 45th minute, Maidstone with the ball. Kicks out, oh, what a through ball. And they score, we're now 1-0 down. 59th minute. We've got the ball, Wiltshire to Jeffers. Jeffers finds the net, posting in. Good ball in. And then we got Calder, Booty. This is Maidstone on the ball, right? Ah, oh, he finds the net. It's 2 1 to Maidstone. Maidstone again in for 78th minute. Phillips to Booty to Luke. Lukey, Luca. And it's 3 1. And that's the end of that. We lost. We lost 3 1. Ladies and gentlemen, we are no longer unbeaten in our second season. Disappointed. Disappointed. Let's have a quick look at the stats. They've had 11 shots to our 8 on target, 10. Really cute ratio for shots on target to shots. HG 1.2, 0.47 us. We held for possession. 58% and we had good passes completed but unfortunately we had for possession they had for attempts on goal and was just prolific in front of goal and we lost 3-1 right it hasn't been going well we're still top of the table but only just that big gap that we had is deteriorating away and the reason why is because in the last six games you saw our first loss in the last six games we've only managed one win that is the turnaround of our season and i just can't get it back now we're playing hampton and richmond at home i'm expecting a win let's go see how we perform which uh hampton and richmond farrell finds it through oh and botan gets a ball no it's a penalty and low scores it it's one nil and and that was on 46th minute, by the way. And that's how it finished. We lost again and we're not top of the table anymore. Oh, crap. How did, did we perform? 15 shots to their six. They had one on target. That was for penalty, ladies and gentlemen. And they scored it. That was their winner. We had seven on target. XG 1.04 to their 1.18. I don't know how they worked that one out. But their only shot on target was a penalty. And they still had better XG than us, considering we had seven on target. 69% of possession, 94 passes completed. Which is really high. That's like Barcelona level. Barcelona Prem level passes. Really impressed with the team on that. But it's not winning us football games. Here's the fixtures up until end of January. As you can see, I've blurred out for others as we just go through them. I'm going to pop them up into the screen as I like to do. And we're just going to quickly run through them and give you an update. So Hampton and Richmond, we lost. It was going really bad. Look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven games. One win. Really, really bad. We lost top spot. And then we played having a mortal review away. And we won one nil. Then we go into February. And as you see, what a month what a month we started to turn it around so we played bath won one nil at home then we lost our thought oh no we got two wins and now i've lost again but i was like you know what it's away it's away game it's fine then we went on and got three wins in a row three nil against farnborough concord 2-1 
Tombridge 3 1, and then to finish the month off, we drew to Hitching Away 0 0. Guess what? End of February, and we're top of the table again. Whew. I'll tell you what, my heart during this season is racing, and we're just going to breathe for a minute and just take stock of what just happened. I'm shaking my head. You guys must be thinking, what the hell went wrong here? We didn't even win one game, played five, lost three, drew two. I feel like I want to cry. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven games left. And I need to turn this around. I can't believe I've gone from top of the table to fourth. Let's go visit the table. There you go. 39 games played, 120, 72 points, lost seven, drew 12. I mean, it's a tight table. I mean, we're five points away from top. Oxford City's got a game in hand, but we're there. What I will show you is just quickly our journey so far with the table. We knew that we were top of the table for ages. Then we went through that bad the inconsistent had a good month got back to top a couple of times and then that bad month has just taken us down all the way down to fourth it's okay people it's okay you can cry if you want to i sure did and now where we're gonna end up if you want to know how we do please hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any future episodes and have a good day thank you for watching if you like this video and then continue your journey and watch this one